Hi yo gang, it's Talvin here. 5D Lifestyles. We're doing some 5D fungus. I'm giving you a little tour of my fungal operation here, seeing the components and infrastructure that it takes to grow mushrooms, at least on a commercial level. So um, the main thing to a mushroom growing operation is your lab. If you don't have a lab, you can order spawn from other people and just have the grow rooms part that works. If you're just a home grower, you can order stuff from people that do have a lab. But if you want to create your own spawn, you need one of these bad boys, a lab. And so my lab, I'm going to show you the components, going to give you a little quick tour of what it entails. Normally, I would not talk in here. It's very weird for me to be talking in here. Um, I don't have a whole lot of stuff going on right now to compromise. We're doing a big kind of pull everything out and big clean. So this is a good opportunity to show you guys around and actually talk inside. So to get into the lab, it's quite the uh, operation in and of itself. I take a full shower, clean myself real good, cut my hair, make sure I'm all clean and tidy. And then I put on my lab underwear. And then I put on my walking to the lab outfit to walk to the lab. And then in the first chamber, I've got three doors to get into this thing. In the first chamber, I take off my walking to the lab outfit, enter into the second chamber and put on my lab clothes, my lab jacket, my lab pants um, that get washed quite often and hung in my second chamber, my lab. Put on my hairnet, my face mask, my gloves, and step into the actual lab. All right, because basically the idea is this is a clean space. It has got a fan pushing air through here 24 seven. That's filtered one, two, three, four times. The last time being a HEPA filter. So that's a positive pressured lab set up. The HEPA filter is a true HEPA filter. Look at this bad boy. I hope you can see it in the light. It's a 12 inch thick HEPA filter that is 99.99% efficient in pulling out all the debris floating around the outside air into lab. So this is pumping in clean air. And so basically the idea is I'm trying to mitigate myself as much as I can because I am the dirtiest thing in here. So the cleaner I am, the better, all right? So basically you can see all my empty shelves. I like to have them full of spawn. But basically how we start here, now that you have a little bit of understanding about how fungus works, and if you don't, check out the other videos to understand what fungus is, because this is just a quick tour. So I've got my lab fridge here. This is where my test tubes stay, all right? So that is pure mycelium, isolated mycelium. Fungus can keep in a fridge for five years, all right? So I pull that test tube out. I've got my, um, my small pressure cookers. I've got two here that I pressure cook the agar medium in these. And then this is the key to any lab operation. This is the most important piece of equipment in a fungal spawn producing operation. This is the laminar flow hood, all right? Very important um, piece of equipment because this is how you keep things super clean. So it's not enough to just have this clean room. This is what you want. So this is another HEPA filter. This is a six inch thick HEPA filter. So if I were to turn it on, boom, that cranks up. It is going to be blowing air over this work surface. All right. So I've, I've built and designed this as stainless steel. Because I use MMS, it gets a little rusted. Um, this is my impact sealer. This is my scalpel sterilizer. Um, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail. You can see me using this in operation in other videos. But basically, this section right here is the most important space in the lab. This is what the lab is for, is this section right here. So that's the space in front of my hand. So basically, the way I treat this thing is anything upwind, upstream of me is clean. And so the whole lab's purpose is this space right here is to do transfers. So I transfer from that test tube to a Petri dish. Um, here's a Petri dish, right? Growing some nice mycelium. From that Petri dish, we go to grain spawn. This happens to be grain spawn growing out right here. Um, from the grain spawn, we go to sawdust spawn. From the sawdust spawn, we expand into fruit bodies. 
Uh, we use that pressure cooker that's right on the other side of this door. Pressure cook that substrate. Let me pull this off so you can hear me a little better. Pressure cook that substrate, whether it's um, grain, spawn, sawdust spawn, or the final fruit body substrate, which is a nice mixture of, of wood chips or bagasso chips and sawdust or bagasso dust. And then that gets pressure cooked in here. And then I sterilize that room on the other side of here and then open this bad boy. I'm not gonna do it because I haven't sterilized it. Open this door up here and I use my nice little rolly table Put that in front of my uh, laminar flow hood and cool off that substrate. Once it's cooled, then I can transfer in front of my laminar flow hood, seal those bags, and then I use my extensive shelving system to let them veg and let the mycelium grow out. So that's basically it. Um, keep this place clean. When I do work, I make sure that this table leaves clean. I clean the floor, and then I go to the nth degree and I have UV lighting system. This is my little system I've designed here. UV lighting system goes up here. It is on a timer, which you can't see that well in here, but this cycles on for an hour every night with this thing down, right? So that is my UV setup to sterilize my workspace. So that's basically it, folks. This is my lab. I mean, I could go into a lot more detail, but it's positive pressure. It's sealed, so nothing can fly in here like bacteria, insects, things like that to contaminate this zone. So I just want to keep this space clean to inoculate my spawn. So those are the basic components of my lab. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to go check out the other components, pasteurization station and the grow rooms as well. So just to wrap it up, the purpose of the lab is to create mycelium, all right? Purpose of the grow rooms is to create mushrooms, but you gotta make the mycelium before you can make the mushrooms. Just like you gotta grow the mango tree before you get the mangoes. Thanks for checking out my lab. I'm very excited to have you. Bye-bye.